Welcome to another episode of Get Dressed with Merrick. Today we are getting a little fancy and talking about formal wear for holiday events that are formal or formal winter weddings. On the blog today, I have 30 formal dresses. Some are a little shorter, some are long, most are long, uh, different necklines, different sleeves, all different stuff. I will link that here. If you are looking for a formal gown for an event this year, check this out. Also in the blog post, I cover um, outerwear, coats that you can wear over the top of formal wear like this, and then also shoes uh, to keep you the most warm, but also maintain that level of super formal dressiness. Let's talk about shoes really fast. I'm gonna bring you inside my closet. Here's just a classic black pump. I hope that you have a pair like this in your closet. If you don't, you should. There's classic, they go with everything, and they're a great option that's just like simple and chic and classic, but you could also do something like this, like a fun print on here. You could do something sparkly like this. That would be so fun. Um, you could do a nude pump, something with a little design on it. Here's a velvet pump. Any of those would be really good options, but let me show you two boot options for a little more warmth. With a long dress like this, you're barely seeing the shoe at all. So just a simple black booty totally works. I got two to try. This is a block heel ankle boot. It's um, like a suede fabric. And this is actually versatile to wear with more casual outfits too. And then this one is a sock booty. It comes up a little higher and um, narrower on the shaft. Has a stiletto heel and a pointed toe. So both of those are good options. And if you need extra warmth, throw a pair of tights or leggings underneath. No, no, no. That's all I'm gonna say about shoes. There's more information in the blog post. I'll link it here, you can check it out. But I really wanna to talk today about outerwear and how outerwear affects a long formal dress like this. So I'm gonna show you a couple of options and show you why they do or do not work. If you need to be very dressy and your dress is long, like to the floor, a faux fur coat in this shorter length is a really good option. This one is from Amazon. It's linked to the blog post today. And just this black fur is shiny, it's chic, it's just like that classic look and goes really well with the velvet um, and other formal kinds of fabric, more so than a wool coat would. Also, with the shorter length like this, it allows you to see more of the shape of the dress. The longer that your coat is, um, with a long dress like this, you're just so covered up in fabric that you just start to drown in fabric. So the shorter length, I just always recommend that with a longer dress. But a longer coat can work. I think that this works is just a lot of fabric. Um, this is a wool coat. It's in black, which helps keep it very formal looking. It also has a fur line uh, collar up here. This coat is like 15 years old. My mom bought it for me like ages ago. So uh, I don't have a link for it, but the other thing that helps here is that it has this cinched in waist. You see that? Um, you could do a wrap style, you know, if it has a tie or something, um, but anything that accentuates your waist here so that you have some shape among all this fabric is gonna be helpful. This is the coat that I show you guys all the time and I love it. And I think that it works in so many outfits, but I think with a super dressy dress like this, the long length, the formal fabric, it just doesn't work as well for me. Um, maybe you love it, that's totally fine. For me, I think that the color, the lighter color just like leans toward more casual for me. Um, I think that if it was in black, I would feel differently, but play around with it and see what works best for you. The shape works, I think the length works okay, um, but I just, I don't think that the color works as well. You tell me what you think. Here's one more outerwear option. And I had this on in my morning Instagram post with that green dress and you guys were loving it. And it is so beautiful. It's like Hollywood movie star. This is actually from Amazon. It's very affordable and I love it for a couple of reasons. It clasps in the front here. And so I love that it does not, you don't have to hold it on. It just stays on. It also has like this collar situation that like flips over. So it stays on really well, stays in place really well. Um, but I think that the fur just adds that like super glam Hollywood feel. But also I love that it kind of gives you some shape where it nips in here and allows you to see the rest of your shape with the rest of the dress. It doesn't cover it up like a big coat would. Um, it is tan, which I said that I didn't love the tan coat, but I think that because it's fur, this like long luxurious fur that gives it the glam feel that the tan coat did not. Here's a couple of takeaways. One, 
the fabric and color of your outerwear should match the dressiness level of the rest of your outfit or of your gown. And two, the shape of your outerwear matters to make sure that you're accentuating your shape and also allowing the rest of your gown to be shown. I hope that was helpful. I will leave a question box here if you have any other questions about winter formal wear and definitely check out the blog post. Everything that I'm wearing is linked there and a bunch of other stuff is linked, including outerwear, more dresses, shoes, etc. I'll see you next week.